All right, well, this is a dream for a lot of mixed martial arts fans. And yourself, Daniel, a guy who at one point could have fought Fedor Emelianenko, he and Dana White on the same page. We got Fedor in the octagon. Today. I'm glad it didn't happen because uh -huh. let me tell you something about Fedor. He's unknown. He's an enigma. We all want to know what is Fedor Emelianenko? What does he look like in the UFC? We finally get to find out. We know that he has a crazy high-level skill set, but we never knew how it would fare against the absolute best in the world. Tonight we find out, if I had to guess, I would think he would be just okay. And you got the sense with Fedor that he wasn't gonna wholly enjoy retirement if he did not check this box. Fedor Emelianenko at long last on the greatest proven ground in this world. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. With the undeniable DMX backdrop, enter Iron Mike Tyson. You know he's had a huge embrace for mixed martial arts. I didn't think we'd see him compete in this setting. Hope he's been working on his takedown defense. Yeah, he's gonna need it. Iron Mike's gonna need to be able to stay upright if he wants to give himself a chance. But if he's on his feet every second of the fight, Mike Tyson has the ability to knock you out. Imagine a guy that can put you out with 10-ounce gloves, landing with four-ounce gloves in the UFC octagon. Mike is fast. Mike has great setups, and Mike has a meanness about him that not many others have. You better be careful fighting Iron Mike Tyson. He is ferocious, and seemingly the speed and power are still there at his advanced age. Mike Tyson trying to make headway here in the UFC tonight. Grace the octagon, Tyson is ready to fight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> First, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Avon. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Herb Dean, our third man Ready. in the octagon for this one. Ready. Good. Well, Joe Rogan always says we are professional fans, and we are so thankful to have drawn this assignment tonight as Fedor Emelianenko and Mike Tyson get underway. Emelianenko says he's more than willing to stand a trade with Iron Mike. We'll see how it plays out. That's going to be a mistake. Mike Tyson is ferocity. He is like a lion chasing down a gazelle whenever you are in front of him in a combat. Oh. He's in trouble. Changing leather early. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, big left hand. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so a nice takedown for him there. And if that is a sign of things to come, could be a long night for the boxer. Well, when you're a boxer, you see a lot of feints coming at your head. He understood that through a feint to get the hands up, level change down, secure the takedown. Great work. Back to his feet. Nice block. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent. 
opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Single. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Lands a good combination. Oh. Back and forth we go. These two guys are trading huge shots. Oh my goodness. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the center. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to have too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round. He is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Beautiful right hand over the top. John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Circling towards the left now. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard. And Pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. He's in the mouth. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Pedro Emelianenko's goes back in full mouth. Lands the ground and pound strike. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Side control now. Looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Massive shot from the top. And there it is. Another strike gets through on the ground. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. X 
excellent ground and pound strikes here by Fatal. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Thirty seconds to go now. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. It looks like he's getting close to his arm triangle. All he's got to do now is isolate the arm, get his head down to the mat, and squeeze. And his opponent will have no choice but to tap. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants Ready to get fight. the desired finish. Ready. Yeah. Round three of a possible five. Oh, nice jab. Ooh, nice defense. I thought that punch might get through. Oh, nice punch there by Emilianenko. Oh, 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 right there. Oh, oh, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very fast. Oh, big left hook there. Well, watch for him to set up that hook again here. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You oh. He's got him hurt here. Just over three minutes now to go. All right, so an opportunity goes up. The biggest shot that he's... Oh, well, it looks like the ref has paused the action here. Oh, he's going to call in the doctor to look at that cut. I don't know, John. It looks bad, man. It's a bad cut. I don't know what the decision is going to be here. It can go either way. Well, it looks as though the fight is going to continue. The referee checking on the athlete one more time. A bit surprising. I didn't know if they would let this guy continue, but here we go. You ready to fight? Ready. All Good. right, so the ref will get the action back underway after that brief health and safety check. And to no one's surprise, the fans support the decision for the action to continue. Absolutely. I mean, this official decided you can go. Even though at times the fighter may question whether or not he can do it, we have very smart ringside officials that make a determination. The determination is, there it is again. Look at that. Now he's back up. Don't do it. Oh, my God. Takes the judges out of it. Gets the finish. What a performance. Let's get it inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 55 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout.